This is PIRS, Pieris Pharmaceuticals, and although I, I don't like going long on any of these small cap companies, you know, especially these baby bios, sometimes all the stars align and, um, you know, if you have a great setup like this one I'm about to show you, occasionally it's worth the risk as long as you know how these companies work. So PIRS is a small company, and they just got a partnership <clears throat> in the beginning of May with a very large pharmaceutical company, AZN. And this, this company is right up there with Pfizer. This is for an asthma inhaler type treatment. So since this partnership happened, it struck me as such a risk reduction that it couldn't help but run. So I have a cost basis of about 370 so I'm up a couple grand and I got 5,000 shares. And uh, it's kind of forming this little step up pattern. So today, uh, there's definitely a fund or institution that's loading up on this. And little things like this, you see this 411 buy for 100 shares that brought it back up. This little dip, even though it was a few cents, triggered the algorithm to do an ask buy. And it actually bought above the ask at 411. Now people don't do that. A human being would buy 410 because that's a cheaper option. I no longer see the heavy buying that we've been riding the past few days. It looks like whoever was scaling in has done so and now someone is scaling out. Although I'm disappointed, uh, we're still going to get $1,800 on it. And I sold off at about 403 and uh, that's the thing about going long is you cannot get greedy if they take whatever you can get because these can fall at any time and, and they, they can fall very hard. So.